is sort of previous related meeting on the IPIH. This is the maximum we can go, I felt. I get this a good chance to start up when several concrete steps were proposed in the resolution, notably the development of national and global health and the observatories for monitoring and identification of gaps, as well as effective coordination and review of financing. Finally, in the light of this advancement, I would urge you, distinguished delegates, to adopt the draft resolution on case in a 26 slash 23 on consensus and diligently implement the resolution in a good outcome. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Siraj. I'll now open the floor for general discussion and I'd like to call on the delegates of China to be followed by the delegates of India. China, please, have the floor. The importance of health and the financing and coordination is recognized by all. And it is also one of the items attracting the most attention from member states in this WHA. China thanks the Secretariat for transmitting to the WHA the report of the open ended meeting of the member states as well as the draft resolution. We also thank the chair of the open ended meeting of the member states, Dr. Viraj, for his presentation as well as uh, the explanations of three steps reporting. The document uh, A66-23 contains the draft resolution which contains some actions that can be taken immediately at the national and global level to address identified gaps that disproportionately affect developing countries, and especially the poor. China welcomes this. However, compared with the recommendations contained in the CEWG report, there is still much room for improvement in this draft resolution. Of course, we are perfectly aware that the draft resolution is a hard one consensus of Pacific Coast negotiations. In the spirit of consensus, uh, China is ready to accept this draft resolution as it is, and we view it as an important opportunity to improve the financing and coordination of the health R&D as well as an important start in this effort. In this regard, we have the following suggestions for the implementation of this resolution. First, as for the proposed global health R&D observatory, the CWG report states that the financing and coordination mechanism issues were never possible based on existing structures. We hope that uh, this spirit will be respected and a thorough analysis of the nature's existing structures will be carried out before they up the observatory in a rational manner. At the same time, we hope that observatories at the national and global level will form an integrated network to monitor global health R&D. As for demonstration projects, uh, we believe that there should not only be demonstration projects for open approach to develop new products uh, urgently needed by developing countries. There should also be demonstration projects um, on the identification of R&D needs as priorities. Uh, selection and implementation of R&D projects, uh, pulling funds, allocation of funds, deleting the R&D cost and uh, product prices, as well as other key procedural mechanisms uh, for R&D. We hope that uh, these demonstration uh, projects will provide experience and evidence of utility importance to seek a long-term solution for global health.
resolution, which we fully support as presented, an additional indication point on this item. Uh, we hope this can circulate soon, uh, but I'll read it out. Member States direct the WHO Secretariat to convene an advisory meeting, including government representatives, as well as at the discretion of the Secretariat, technical experts, and external stakeholders, and the private sector at the earliest possible date in order to take forward action in relation to monitoring, coordination, and financing for global health R&D in accordance with the terms of the resolution A66. Such a meeting should particularly include members of the biomedical research community at a technical level and those currently involved in managing funds for R&D with a mandate to, one, assist in the identification of translational research projects and the methodologies for coordinating research for the demonstration project in ways that emphasize the delinkage of cost of R&D for product price. And two, identify ways to promote advocacy for identify R&D needs and to seek voluntary financing for the demonstration projects. The simple issue for us is that our government cannot commit to putting resources into a mechanism that is still not clearly defined and which has no record of success. This decision point to us will help inform the demonstration projects and will help help provide proof of concept. We note that the current resolution contains, uh, we note as well that the current resolution contains flexibility in OP 4.7 in stating that a member state meeting should occur, quote, prior to the 69th World Health Assembly. If this advisory committee that we've proposed and the WHO are able to demonstrate progress with a viable mechanism, the U.S. would be open to taking advantage of that flexibility to continuing the meeting all four and 4.7 at an earlier rather than later date. We understand member states may need time to consider this decision point, so we would suggest we might extend this item to allow additional time for consideration of the proposal, but we hope we can move forward with the passage of the resolution itself at this time. Thank you. Thank you very much, United States. Uh, if I may, I'll just take a moment to consult with my secretariat on what you've just suggested. Please don't go anywhere. I'll be back with you right away.
will increase the amount of research, the number of products, and positive health outcomes. We would li also like to highlight the need to strengthen capacity in technology transfer to developing countries. This should be based on joint agenda and priority setting related to developing countries, health needs, and national plans for essential health research. We are, furthermore, of the view that health and access to health products should be strengthened through investment and sustainable collaboration. This is particularly important related to new discussions and should be included attention to the linking of drug related R and D costs and product prices in developing countries. For all these reasons, we strongly support the view of CWG calling for improvement in the research and development activities of the health sector. We need to support all efforts to strengthen global coordination and health research and development. We really as well our support for attention to the issue of better medical products and full funding at the global level to make possible strategic contribution to meeting the health needs of countries at the end. Lastly, we would like to register our support for the establishment of global health R&D of secretary within the WHO secretariat in order to monitor and analyze relevant information on health R&D. This observatory would build on information from national and regional observatories, consolidating information with a view to the identification of gaps and opportunities for health R&D, and defining global priorities in consultation with member states. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Indonesia. I'll tell you what I'm going to I'm planning to do, though. Quite a few members have left us to speak. I'm going to go to South Africa, I'm then going to ask the Maldives, then I will make a couple of announcements, and then we will break for lunch. That's acceptable to everyone. Then South Africa, please, you have the floor. Chairperson, Honourable Members, Mr. Gentlemen, the 2012 report of the Mutual Competitive Secret Working Group on R&D, Financing and Coordination, represents a milestone in a long-winded international effort to close the crucial gap in the development of drugs and other health technologies to meet the health needs of the poor neglected population. We welcome the report of the Chairs in convening the open-ended meeting of the individual member states to support the adoption of the proposed resolution. South Africa aligns itself with the statement made by Chad on behalf of the 46 member states of the individual African region. We view this as an important opportunity to address the market failures through collective action and pooling of resources and also through enhanced cooperation. This is the we believe will create some form of predictability and sustainability. And it will also help us meet the needs, particularly of the disproportionately affected population. We have noted comments made by the US and Bolivia in order to support the principles and have further discussions on the center. We have, as a country, expressed our support that we should have concrete actions, and as a result, we have, like we indicated, increased our contribution and this contribution in support of preliminary tech that is necessary for the creation of the observatory. And we would like this work to begin while these discussions are taking place. And we finally like to congratulate Dr. Viroj once more for delivering a product and overseeing successful negotiations. I must say to this house, this is his pet baby. Healthy baby, it is given. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, South Africa. And uh, our last speaker for this morning will be the Maldives. Maldives, you have the floor. The one of statement is a statement made by India on behalf of the government of the United States of the Sierra region. Modi Sudan invites to accept the work of the independent meeting of member states held in November 2012 for the realistic recommendations for improving global coordination to 
addresses to developing countries in the research, development, of medical care for type 1, 2, and 3 diseases. The corresponding discussion on this subject at national and regional levels, including regional committee meetings, and the 130 different effective reports are also not worthy contributions in taking forward the recommendation of the AWG on research and development, financing, and coordination. We would like to emphasize particularly on the need for all our partners, including government, private sector, academia, academia and non governmental organizations, to share our R&D contributions with the global R&D observatory and urge contributions from different stakeholders to the financing mechanisms for health R&D. Over here, we have been work on health R&D, the financing mechanism and exploring existing mechanisms for the strictest provision of most developing countries represented at this assembly for a more complex coordination and financing mechanism to support the health R&D needs of developing countries. On a final note, we would like to bring to the attention of the floor that there are some countries, including Mali, with very limited health R&D capacity. Therefore, to realize the target of CWG report, it is imperative for these countries to partner with regional research centers with research capacity and also to the health R&D mechanisms to support the research capacity building for countries with limited research capacity. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Maldives. I should learn that making these firm declarations on all the grounds you tripped up. Uh, I've a special request from Argentina to make the floor before lunch, um, and so I'm going to to another. Uh, oh, Argentina looking puzzled. Can you, can you be happy to do the last speaker after lunch, Argentina? Yes. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll continue as we were then. Um, thank you, thank you, Maldives. Before we vote, I have just a couple of announcements to make. We have this text proposed by the USA, and what I suggest is that this be made available and distributed at the beginning of the afternoon session, and then we'll have it read out throughout our consideration at the end of our general discussion. So after all the speakers from the floor, we will then read out that text, which is the you'll have some time to look at during the afternoon session. That's agreeable to the committee. Answer whether you've got your phone because you're in the general debate or you actually. And the second announcement I need to make is um, if uh, we really manage to get through a lot of business this, this afternoon, I do need to make a um, preparatory request to you to agree to bring forward the progress reports of NCDs, that's 18A, 18B, and 18C this afternoon's agenda. Only if we get to that far, but I need to warn you now and, and seek your agreement for doing that in case we get that far this afternoon. That's also agreeable to the committee. In which case, uh, I wish you all very pleasant lunch. We'll be back in here at 2.30 and not a second after the post. Dr. Mirage, do you want to speak again? Announcement: The chairman of the committee has announced that we will conduct a formal consultation on the issues 